Hello and welcome back to the stars everybody. Welcome back to Starfield where today we're going to be taking a look at the Orion rifle. This is the second and only one of two laser rifles in the game. The Orion is probably going to be showing up more towards the mid game to the late game of this and it's very common to find people like zealots carrying this around. It's probably one of the more common energy weapons that you're going to see out and about at least at the higher levels. So for the base stats of the Orion this one does 27 damage per shot although this one does fire out two shots so it actually has pretty good damage per shot even though the lasers can be a little bit weird we'll talk about that when we get to the cons of this this one fires the three kilovolt laser cartridge this is one of the few weapons that fires this and it's one of the better uses of this round so that's kind of nice it's also a very common round you can find this all over the place and merchants tend to sell it this one holds 35 rounds in it by default however this is one of the weapons that can be increased by skill magazines so mine in the background of this footage was always holding 50 rounds in it which is a lot of rounds for like a semi-automatic rifle like this. This one does have an okay rate of fire at 33. Not super high, but not super low either. This one has 50 meters of effective range, making it have longer range than most rifles, which is pretty good. Besides those that have scopes on them usually by default or what would be considered sniper rifles. This one has pretty decent accuracy. It, it actually says it has really high accuracy and I kind of believe that. But you are firing two lasers out and sometimes they can get kind of crossed or go in weird directions. Sometimes the accuracy is a little bit misleading. It's even more inconsistent when you're actively running and trying to fire this. If you're sitting still and firing it, then it's actually pretty accurate most of the time the lasers go on to target. This one does weigh a decent amount for a rifle too, coming in at 5.25, so it is one of the heavier rifles that you can just find in this game. For the general pros of this weapon, it does have good DPS, and it has pretty good damage per shot. Both of those are really nice, and that makes it one of the more consistent energy weapons, especially towards the mid and late game. This one already has a very large magazine in it, with 35 rounds, and it can go even beyond that thanks to the skill magazines. So ammo inside the gun and downtime really isn't that big of a factor with this weapon. You can use this for fighting off just about anything and still have plenty of time to go to a safe place and reload, assuming the fight isn't already over within just the magazine that you have. And this one does have pretty long range. Having 50 meters of effective range is really good for a weapon like this. For the general cons of this weapon though, it is heavy. It is very heavy for a rifle. So even though these are worth a decent amount and I usually pick them up, they may not be the best value to weight ratio, but they're still pretty decent. And like I said, this one does have very strange lasers. The lasers, if you're sitting still, tend to go pretty much where you're aiming. If you're running around or you're using your jetpack, then you can notice the lasers kind of going all over the place. And it doesn't really benefit from a really run and gun play style, at least at medium to long range. At close range, you can still get away with it because the lasers aren't jumping around too much but at longer ranges, it will be very, very noticeable. On my recent rifle tier list, I put the Orion up into A tier, and I think I would keep it into A tier. It is a pretty good rifle, and it does do consistent amounts of damage. It's also just consistent across the board in stats, so it's kind of above average at everything, and if you're going with an energy weapon build, it's probably going to be one of your go-to weapons, at least until you can get like an inflictor or something, but even then you're probably still going to be carrying around the Orion just because it uses the cartridge that it does, and it's not using the same ammo as the inflictor. Now let's go over a modified version and where I'd put that in the tier list. So for a barrel, we either have the standard barrel or the long barrel. You might as well throw the long barrel on here, it improves accuracy, it reduces recoil, it gives you longer range. Everything about it is really nice for a rifle like this. That is just a huge bonus, so I'd throw that on there. For a laser, throw the recon laser on there. It is the best laser sight. If you can't have that, regular lasers are fine, and no laser is also fine. It's also really common to find Orions with a lot of these mods on, I find, because just in doing this video, when I was just grabbing Orions laying around, I did find one that was almost completely kitted out the way that I wanted it to, so it's not very uncommon to find like the modified versions of this on spacers or on Varun zealots. For an optic, this one already comes with a short scope on it by default. I do like the short scope on this because it does count towards a sniper perk and that gets you more damage and more crit chance. So you might as well just go with a scope of some sort. You do have three options with this, medium scope, short scope, or the recon scope. I just kept the short scope on here because I found it to be perfectly fine for the ranges that I was using it at. But if you want more range, then the medium scope will be there for you. And if you want the recon scope for marking out enemies, you can also do that. It's a little bit redundant if you have the recon laser on there, but it's your choice. Pick whichever one of those you would like. Then for a muzzle, we have a couple different options here. I would recommend either the focus nozzle, which is the one that I put on mine, or the stealth lasers. Stealth lasers make it so this weapon does work a whole lot better as a stealth weapon. And if you want a energy weapon sniper rifle, 
This one is probably going to be one of your better options, or at least an energy weapon DMR rifle. This one is pretty good. If you're not interested in that and you want more of a battle rifle type weapon, then I would say like the focus nozzle is a bit better because it just gets you more damage and more headshot damage. Then for a stocking grip, I would recommend the stabilizing stock. This makes it so your weapon has increased accuracy, reduced recoil, less time to ADS, but that's not such a huge deal. The rest of the bonuses are pretty nice to have. Then for a battery, we have quite a few options with this. I'd recommend one of two, either going with the tactical battery, which sounds kind of silly when you say it, or the ignition beams. Ignition beams will get you the most amount of damage and they can burn enemies. This does stack with the laser perk already putting fire on enemies or having a 5% chance to trigger this. So you can light enemies on fire and have this stack multiple times and burn them. That can be pretty good. The tactical battery just makes it so that you can reload the weapon a, a little bit quicker. That's pretty good for this weapon. There are still a large and a small battery for this. Small battery could be good if you want to reduce its weight since you can get its magazine size bigger just based on the skill magazines. Large battery I find to be unnecessary because on mine that held 50 rounds, this would take it up by another 20, so it'd be 70 rounds. And you don't usually need 70 rounds in a semi-automatic weapon to get the job done, especially a weapon like this that does pretty decent damage. There is also the pacifist version of this where you could put the EM beams on it and those can knock people out, but I don't think that this is the best version of a weapon that can do that either because its rate of fire is not as high as something like the Equinox. It doesn't have like the one hit capabilities like the Disruptor. It also just can't knock out things as fast as like the EM shells shoddy. So I think those would all be better options than this and this should probably be kept to like more of a lethal role than a non-lethal one. And then for an internal, you can kind of pick whatever you'd like here. I went with the overclocked, which gives me a higher rate of fire. This weapon will then go up from 33 rate of fire to 38 and that does feel a bit more consistent for me. I do like that extra little bonus. If you wanted more damage, you could go with the amplifier. That's also pretty good. And if you wanted longer range, then you could go with the precision tuning. If you want to turn this into like a sniper rifle version of a energy weapon, this weapon can actually fit that role pretty good. And I think if you stack all range on this, it goes up to like 80 meters or so of effective range, which is pretty good. You're likely not going to be sniping at enemies too much further than that most of the time anyway. With all of these onto the Orion, I would actually move it up a tier. I'd put it in the low end of S tier. It is probably one of the most consistent energy weapons in the game. If you're going with an energy weapons build, this is likely going to be your go-to weapon for most of the game. And then we don't have any unique weapons to actually talk about with the Orion. There is no unique versions that you can get, at least that you can either buy or complete quests for. You can of course get them as legendary drops. Basically anything does work as a legendary effect for the Orion though, since it is just kind of a standard weapon that does everything pretty well. So any good effect is just gonna make it better. Any average effect is gonna be a bonus and any bad effect is, you're probably just not gonna use that Orion unless that's the only thing that you do have that's unique for the Orion. So tell me your thoughts on the Orion down in the comments below. How do you enjoy using it and how do you like building it? Thank you guys so very much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will talk to you guys next time. Till then, stay cool and bye-bye everyone.